what we have here is a particle size distribution of a sample that was analyzed on the Master Sizer 3000. And the Hydro Insight was also uh, attached as, the, uh, as an accessory in line to the Master Sizer 3000 to complement the information with shape information. So this sample was a glass bead. As we can tell, there is a D10, a D50, and a D90. Uh, the D90 goes up to about 112 uh, microns. And what we're going to see is uh, the objective evidence of the, of the particles that were around this size range. So because this was done in tandem with the Hydro Insight, at the same time that we were doing this analysis on the Master Size of 3000, we also have this sample, 83, and it was actually done at the same time. So when we look at the Hydro Insight information, we look at normally a number-based distribution because this is a number-based instrument. But if we look at it, a volume-based distribution, you see a lot of similarities in between the, the data from the Master Sizer and the, uh, the Hydro Insight. Where you see a little bit of, it, of information that's a little bit different is the uh, complementary information when you start looking at particles that are greater uh, than about 100 microns. So as we could see here in the Master Sizer, we went up to about a D90, about 112. Uh, when we look at the particle insight, we notice that when you start going anywhere above about 112, there were definitely some particles in there, very few, but for example, in this case, only 48 particles, uh, but they were there. And if we actually want to see what those particles are, uh, we, can actually, uh, we can actually go do that. We can actually uh, close this and go to post run processing and look at the actual thumbnails. And we'll see that some of the larger particles that were captured in some cases were definitely there. That's a real particle. That's a real particle, about 152 microns. But because of the over-obscuration in this case, uh, this cluster was detected as one particle, and so was this. So this would, uh, would be uh, not accurate information. Uh, we would probably rerun this or run it in a lower uh, a lower. Uh, concentration or turn on the cluster rejection but the point that we're trying to make here is there are definitely uh, larger particles that were in the analysis in the sample uh, that will be captured by the particle insight because it has the ability of of capturing um, the images of the particles so uh, I hope this is of use thank you very much